CNA's UAS Cooperative Airspace Traffic Simulation, or UCATS, is leading the way toward a future of safe and fair drone traffic. Within the next 20 years, uncrewed aircraft systems in the U.S. could be delivering an estimated 8 to 86 million packages every day. That's potentially a thousand times more flights than the FAA currently manages. This poses extremely complex challenges for government and delivery companies as they collaborate to manage future drone traffic. CNA, a nonprofit research organization dedicated to the safety and security of the nation, is focused on helping the government solve its toughest challenges. Usually, government leaders come to CNA with questions they need answered. But in this case, CNA anticipated their needs, seeing that policymakers and regulators could get a more nuanced look at flight planning strategy with the help of computer simulations. CNA's Dr. Rebecca Yang led a team of analysts to tackle this challenge. In our support of the FAA, and in talking with the larger UAS community, we've noticed a concern about congestion in the future airspace, where large companies as well as small companies would have to fly safely and fairly in the same airspace. So at CNA, we put our heads together because we have decades of experience with air traffic management, as well as experience with concepts in UAS traffic management and in data analytics and simulation. So CNA invested in this project and we developed UCATS. The project is one of many CNA self-funded projects to pursue innovative ideas for government and invest in our employees' best ideas. So how does it work? UCATS evaluates drone flight planning scenarios. It simulates and assesses thousands of drone flight plans in a particular time and place. If the plans have scheduled two drones to be in the same spot at the same time, UCATS postpones or cancels one flight to avoid collisions. Our team developed UCATS with an agent-based modeling approach, which allowed us to get some more nuanced results. We developed a series of scenarios in Howard County, Maryland, and after running our model thousands of times, we came up with some interesting results. For example, we found that time-sensitive flights, like fast food deliveries, would have a difficult time competing with package delivery operations, which can be filed much further in advance. To optimize for fairness, safety, and on-time delivery, policymakers can use modeling to test a variety of rules for scheduling flights. So policymakers can use UCATS and the insight it brings to them to come up with creative ways of um, developing regulations and policies that um, accommodates integration of uh, drones into the airspace and to know where they have to increase capacity. The UCATS tool also has uses beyond small drones for package deliveries. The UCATS tool can be used to explore future ecosystems such as urban air mobility where air taxis carry passengers along predetermined corridors. In this scenario, the stakes are higher because people are on board and we need to ensure that traffic is separated and safe. As the use of drones grows at such a high speed of innovation, UCATS will continue to evolve to answer the most pressing questions about flight safety and fairness.